come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It's not like my senile aunt answering the phone. Hello. Hello? Or I'm just Hello? waiting for somebody Hello? to answer back. Hello. Somewhere. Are you listening out listening? there? There's somebody listening to this right now. Thank you. By the way, if you're listening on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, or one of the myriad of podcast repositories where you can find us, hey, do us a favor, why don't you and go on over there and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, or maybe give us a review, hit the like button. All of that helps us get found by other folks like yourself. Only cast roller reviews, please. I think they're gone. I think that's it. They're not <sighs> there anymore. Live on um, so I tell you what, we're a movie review podcast. Every week we do this. We're closing in our 300th episode. This could be it for all we know. No, it's we should not. go actually <laughs> and go really look at the be. number. It's not. Um, so who are these mere mortals who became internet radio superstars? Holly. Sean. Michaela. And tonight we watched. And who are you? Who are you? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the and I'm Colin. I'm Colin. <laughs> Colin. Wow, you're getting a big head there, pal. Where you're just like, I don't even need to introduce myself. Everyone knows who I am. I've been here for all of these. Oh episodes. god, this is oh, my yeah. goddamn I feel, show. These people I feel are just here. Terrible. It's me and these people. <laughs> and I'm Colin. And tonight <laughs> we watched a movie. A movie. A movie. We watched a movie. It was a movie that was chosen by Michaela. Michaela, what did we watch tonight? Chosen by I'm like we watched 2004's Catwoman. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and no further questions were asked about this movie. All right, it was directed, directed by, by Pitoff. Pitoff, who One we name, would know from who is Pitoff? From nothing else. No, that's not true. I've actually I followed You're this guy's career. Yeah, you are true. the only one. So I uh, was this, aware this of who Colin he was. Does. Colin well, gets yeah. I liked a movie called Delicatessen. Which is a French oh, film, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Okay. By uh, Jean Pierre Jeunet, and right. then yeah. I liked uh, a movie called uh, "The City of Lost Children." Mm-hmm. Okay, and I saw this name Pitoff. Yes. I'm like, well, you know, that's pretty arrogant when you're just a one name yep. person. So it stood out. And I mean, then that's what, that's what we are. He was the visual effects guy, right? Oh, and, okay. Uh, okay. All right. And then all of a sudden, he branched into directing with a movie called, if I'm pronouncing it right, Vidoc, mm-hmm. which was. Uh, a movie with Gerard Depardieu, but it's famously has a famously. I don't know for anybody who's seen it. It's got a guy with a mirror mask. It takes your soul if you see yourself in the mirror. His oh. mirror mask uh, takes your soul. So it's a big creepy. visual effects Why thing. Why is it just yeah. called Mirror Mask? Because there was a movie. There already, called, I know, there already yeah. was a movie called Mirror Mask. Um. So, uh, Pitoff, Pitoff, Pitoff got his big Hollywood break because of that. I think like he'd worked his way up through the French film uh, industry mm-hmm. to the point where Hollywood came a knocking and said, like "They do get your ass over here. We need you to do something Have for we us. We got a project for you. Yeah. Do you think he we was given movie. like, uh, like uh, you know, because obviously you come over, you sign with a talent agency, they take you around to different studios, and they everybody studios pitching you like we got you know, a hot young director. Yeah, made a project for him. Right, and so each studio, I assume, gives like the you know, hey, what do you think of this? And here's a script, and right. here's ten yeah, scripts. Bring them in, and, and we need to stop him. doing this because that's how like Colin Trevorrow's happen. You know, like this yeah. it, this never works out well. You know what I'm saying? Like they maybe do one good movie, and then it just goes terrible after that. Maybe one good movie. Mm-hmm. Sometimes not even that. Like it, this this system is broken. We they should never, stop doing it. They never get a chance to like develop other abilities it feels like they make the one movie and sure yeah. you make one movie but then they, they're just like they catch fire there's, there's in not, it yeah what, and they get plucked out of obscurity because they made something that was at least somewhat interesting and they get you know like have, have control of this whole big thing that put we'll put them in the machine let's do mm-hmm. something with you are well, you saying more now than than before? I mean, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that is exactly what's happening now. It's like everybody yeah. makes, but, it but, seems but they like do it's that with this guy too. Though. They, oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they yeah. did mm-hmm. it before. It happens more now. They yeah. did it then as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. But maybe they, they can't should. all be David Finchers, right? No. Well, they even can't. that they case, really can't. Yeah, but he like fell on his face with his first movie of Alien. I mean, nobody liked well, yeah. that movie, but you know, Seven was you know mm-hmm. a colossal hit, and so yeah. he redeemed himself. Mm-hmm. Yes, this man. Did not. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he no. said, oh, I know. I Ooh, haven't heard of Catwoman. Yes, I want to do this Catwoman. 
For all That's I know, so that is terrible. an accurate representation. Yeah, yeah. For all we know, that is. I mean, that could be spot the, on. He took the know. cat very literally. So, for all we know, he saw the words Catwoman and was like, "Ooh, I could do a lot with that." Right? He yeah. just he doesn't like he didn't know of Batman and DC no, comics. No, he no. just was like, "Ah, Catwoman." And no one bothered right. to I tell him. This movie. Yeah. No one bothered to no. say, "Hey, here's a whole mythology pre-written for some you." Some guy in the pitch room going, "What if we don't tell him about <laughs> yeah. DC comics? What if we just let it go?" Well, let me ask you this, because here's uh, question number one. Um, do, you, do, you, do you know, uh, does Pitoff, Pitoff? Pitoff. Pitoff. Does You're he do speak that English? I no idea. I don't really know much about the man, to be honest. There's not a lot to, to find out about him on the internet. There's not that much information. Did he about make him. a movie after this movie? Yeah, he's got a couple, but really? not, what not I, nearly like as big as this like movie. Like Back to France of kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Retreated tail between his legs. This is the only movie he's ever heard, made that I've ever heard of. So yeah, okay. I have not heard. Who has yeah. the uh, the writing credit on this? Oh, uh, there's like six people. Okay, that have writing credits yeah, there's a few. Anyone people. we know? Nope. Of. No. Nope. All right. Anyone who worked <laughs> again after this movie? Yeah, but Probably. like they work as like you know third and fourth rewrites on scripts. Yeah, sure. Okay. You know. Yeah, because those people are always they're in writers' needed. rooms basically, but they're mm-hmm. not main credits. So. But at least their careers weren't completely torpedoed. Well, yeah, because when, we you get, when you get six people on a script, it's all finger pointing, you know? Like, yeah. at that point, it's like, well, hey, I didn't do that part. Yeah. You, right. know? you can like, just go like, well, six people wrote this thing. What do you expect? Right. Mm-hmm. Which well, is what I would do. I wonder, Mikhail, if you can take us through some uh, quick facts. Can we... How much did this movie cost to make? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I would I'm like curious. to go around the table. How much do you guys think this movie cost mm. to make? I think this movie cost... I'm going to go it's with $75 million. Part. Holly. Oh, I was gonna go with fifty-five. You're probably closer. I'm going forty million. One hundred million dollars. What? Shut up! Colin's literally what? spitting out his beer. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> CGI was expensive in two thousand four. Oh, oh my, wow. my god! Okay. There's universal shocker on the table. Wow. Well, that leads to the follow-up question: How, how much, much did, did it make? You got you it. Got, you guys want to take a guess at how much it made? Twenty-two million dollars. No, I mean it's a character. I'm the be name generous. thirty million. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I was gonna say maybe about thirty-five. Yeah, well, shit. Right, I already right, claimed right. twenty-three. Right. I'm gonna go with twenty-three million. 82 million worldwide. Okay. Ooh, worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Worldwide. Domestic? Lifetime box office. Domestic? It was like 45 domestic, 50 domestic, around there. So, oh, ouch. That's yeah, not good. It, right. it had like a, I want to say it was like a $10 million opening weekend, which is not good. Not for good. For this size, so. So. Guys, Avengers cost like 150 shock. million. Like, yeah. I know. Like, I know. That is fucking shocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was I was blown away when I saw that when I was doing the research for this. So I was like, oh, I can't wait to drop this all on them. Oh <laughs> they have no God. idea. Right, well, I can't. It it stars some interesting people. So. There's a lot of stars in this movie. <laughs> Halle Berry, uh, Benjamin Bratt, Sharon like, Stone, Alex Borstein. Are those stars? I, mean, I would Halle Berry. Yeah. I would say yeah, Halle, Halle Berry is legitimate. Stone? Yeah. yeah. And Sharon Stone. I don't know that I would call Alex Bornstein or not a Benjamin star. Brad. Or Benjamin Brad. He's, He's a, a recognizable star, face. Yeah. Yeah. He pops up in a lot of things we but do. But a star? A star no. I wouldn't say star power. He's yeah. recognizable. He's not going to go to see a Benjamin Brad movie. He may star in a show, but he's not going to open a movie. No. They're not going to bank on him. I mean, I, I, this was his high point, though, because like Miss Congeniality was a real <laughs> well, high point. Miss Congeniality, yeah. I would say, yeah. is his high point. But, yeah, but this was not that long after that. I know, but it's yeah. not, you know, I mean, a star is someone who uh, you. Well, I'm not saying they're A-list. I'm this. just saying, like, yeah. I think, it, well, Halle Berry and Sharon Stone are. Yeah. 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 So Halle Berry. Uh, Francis Conroy, too. So He's here's a well. question for one, right? you: mm-hmm. If you were to throw out, powers. if you throw out uh, Halle Berry movies, this is the trick: Are they before or after Catwoman? Ready? Mm-hmm. Die another day. After. After. No, before. 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 It? Swordfish. Before. before. X Men. Before. before. Which uh, one? <laughs> both the first two were first two yes. before. Really? Yeah. Yes, they're both before. That's this. what I'm saying. This is like why yeah. did she did she did two X Men's before this that were yep. much better. This is the movie that killed her career. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> but here's my question for you guys: Is she a good actress? Because I don't think she is anymore. I'm kind of the more I think about it, I'm not sure she is a good I've actress. Ne- okay, I, I've never really thought Halle Berry was a good actress. But the like the more you think about the movie she's in and the role she played, the more it's like I don't know if she I've is. I've never thought she was. I think she just gets lucky most of the time. Would well, you I know her? from Actors. before before Monsters Ball well that's the one she won in the and Oscar I think yeah. you as far as her winning an Oscar and everything I think you get there are certain circumstances that will come together that will whether you're whatever your level of talent is like yeah. things will 
come together. Oh, Some, the Oscars for most surprising performance. Most like you like, pulled that off. That's yeah. what the Oscars yeah. for, right? right. Like Plus I can't believe you pulled that off. A glamorous person, right. also that yeah. usually also ha- right. helps. Um, yeah. Would you know Halle That's Berry from from before uh, Monsters Ball? That's a good question. What, did, wasn't she in like a Dorothy Dandridge biopic? And oh ba- yeah, and Baps. Dorothy Dandridge, but that was a Baps. Uh, yeah. Baps. That yeah. was a uh, Bullworth. Um, yeah, Bullworth. Mm-hmm. Boomerang. She was in uh, the last Boy the Scout. The Flintstones movie. The Flintstones what? movie. What? She was yeah. in the Flintstones. She plays movie? a character named Sharon Stone in the Flintstones. Uh, movie. <laughs> I I almost got up and walked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> there was supposed to be actual Sharon Stone, but she said no. Oh my! But did she get her start God. with Spike Lee? It seems like she was in. Uh, I have to look this up because that's know. a very good question. Uh, oh, uh, there's Gothica. Oh, Gothica! Oh, the year I saw that, that right. That was the year before this. Yeah. That was, okay. that was right. the year before. Like this. all these movies that you've heard of were before Catwoman, yeah. which yeah. I think like re- ruined her career. I mean, aside from like Cell, which yeah. did well re-ruined. domestically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she was in an Executive Decision. Decision. Before, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, before, but like that's, <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I know her yeah. from. Uh, that was like the first thing I saw Halle Berry in. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I think she's in like she's all that or something. No, no she's, she's not. not. No, oh, no, 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 sorry. What was the Jesus? No, what, <laughs> what's the Spike Lee movie? It's not. Oh, she's got to have it. Haven't seen that one. Oh, I think yeah, that's. Don't know. Yeah, that's a Spike right. Lee movie. Yeah. <clears throat> so, wow. Wow, yeah. But this is what happens with a lot of actors who win an Oscar. They go on to make, you know, they win an Oscar. And then, yeah. (laughs) But what is this phenomenon? Like, the thing that they do right after winning an Oscar is, like, the shittiest movie of their career. But it's also the money grab. Looking at you. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Eon Flux. You remember Eon Flux? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, for real. From Monster to Eon Flux. That's because they're tired of doing, like, they did the serious role, and they're probably, like, they feel, like, drained. And it's like, I did this. I want to do something that is complete opposite of what I just did. But it can and, still be good and be opposite. I mean, maybe the experience and everything be. for them is what they're looking for. Maybe mm-hmm. not so much like yeah. how the outcome of the movie. They're just looking for a different experience and something different from what they've done. My guess is the payday is like that's suddenly also they're getting big, the, like, the yeah. big money. Right. You're an Oscar nominee. Right. That's but I want to know, thing. like, was this, you know, because in a lot of these situations, I wonder if like, you know, it seems like the Oscar is announced and then like a month later they come out in their big Hollywood movie. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. So you were cast in this before you won the Oscar. Right. And that's yes. why. But I think that's why they are, because there's that buzz starts early long before for yeah. stuff like yeah. that. And so you cast them and just like, well, scoop her up before she actually wins the Oscar and we can't afford her anymore. Mm-hmm. She did follow Anything. this up with the one another another terrible comic book movie. She did X-Men The Last Stand mm-hmm. right after yeah, this. Yeah, but that's so, I get it. You have to because you're terrible. in the series. Yeah, terrible. It's yes. terrible. No, it is. When was the last time you watched that show? It's been a long time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go back terrible. and watch it. That movie is terrible. We did not deserve that movie. I give an accurate representation of that movie. We did not deserve I that. I know I... Wait... I had a comparison. I know I liked it better than something else. Oh, because uh, Superman Returns came out at the same time. Mm. And that's what I always compare it to because they switched. Or like Brian Singer went to Superman and then Brett Ratner mm-hmm. came over. And I liked uh, X-Men any, 3 better know, than Superman. Anything Brett Ratner's attached to, you should probably just not watch. Red you Dragon know, is a, a very good movie. I'm just going to say that. Okay, that's one. Oh, I'm not defending Brett Ratner. I'm just going to say. Uh, I'm just going to say that movie. Everyone that has a more has to every do. Once in a while, that yeah. more has to do with the actors in it than mm-hmm. the direction. But it's a very good movie. But no, Brett Ratner. Fuck Brett Ratner. Yeah. Uh, except for like Rush Hour. What has Sharon Stone done since Catwoman? Ooh, that's a good question. Basic Instinct sure. two. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. No, she no, was I in saw- Bobby. Right, was in Bobby afterwards. I just saw her like Emilio Estevez Bobby. Yeah. Okay. But I think like Casino was before. Yes. Yeah. yeah I think most before. things were before. Most things were before. For Sharon yeah. Stone. I feel like I just saw her in something. What was the one where she was? Uh, alpha she, Dog. She that, was an Alpha Dog? Yeah. That she was, was two years dog. after this. Well, she was just in The Disaster Artist. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 Go straight to that one. Like, oh, was there was a like lot a, of people in that movie. In that movie? I, forgot, yes. okay. I forgot yeah. she was in that. That's probably what I'm thinking of. Well, that's the kind of role she like should be taking at this point. Because, you know. Whatever happened to Sharon Stone? Was she ever a really good actress? No, I don't. I think don't so. have enough experience with Sharon Stone to answer that she, question. The, the thing she's that hammy I, as all hell, and everything in this she's movie, in. At least. No, mm-hmm. everything is like that. Yeah, it feels like that's her. Uh, that's how she does it. That's just her thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember her. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, King Solomon's Mice. No, uh, 
the, before Paul Verhoeven discovered her and put right. her in Total Recall, and then to Basic Instinct and Superstardom. But she was in Wes Craven's uh, uh, Deadly Blessing, right? Never saw it. Never yeah, saw it. Like that. early, you know, mm-hmm. Sharon Stone. Uh, then she became a superstar and got to do all this stuff. But I think, uh, you know, like the specialist and Sliver. And, oh, whatever. yeah, specialist. I but there was one movie, and I can't remember the name of it. She was like on death row. She was a prisoner. And it's not Dead Man Standing. Oh, we're going to Last out. Man Standing or Dead Dead Man Walking. Is she in that we're with the- Sean Penn? No, maybe Dead not. Man oh, Walking? Dead, dead, yeah, it's not a thing. Isn't that well, a that's a movie, but yeah, was she in that? I don't remember. There is a movie about where I think, what year do you think? I'm gonna go 1998. All right, let's find. It out. seems like she was in a movie where she was in prison and she was going to. Oh, the, she was in Sphere. Oh shit, that's <laughs> right. That was, oh, that, was that was 1998. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I give up. That movie was completely dated by the people that were in it. So. Yeah, it was. But she ironically had similar hair to that she had in. in uh, Wait, she didn't change her hair for like fifteen. Years. Oh, she's had her, she's yeah. had short hair for like twenty uh, years yeah. now. If these walls could talk too, <laughs> she was Ellen's love interest in that one. I remember that. When was the Quick and the Dead? <laughs> oh, that was late. Yeah. That was ninety ninety four. Ninety four. I would say it was nineties. This, this is my favorite credit of hers: Cold Creek Manor deleted scenes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. my favorite. There's Dennis Quaid and Juliette Lewis. Okay. Well, anyway, right. basically, this movie, it though. feels Stone, like Catwoman yeah. torpedoed, or it was like, we're going to get this actress who, you know, used to be something, or maybe she still was at this point. I don't know. But at least no, people knew so. who was Sharon Stone was and put her in the movie, too. Directed by Pitoff, who is a visual genius. What? I would say he is knowledgeable of the trends of the time. I would say he knows about like camera trends of the early aughts. What'd you think of the camera work in this motion? A little nauseating. Picture? It's constantly oh moving. Bit much. It's constantly moving. It is, it yeah, is but overdone. Guillermo del Toro constantly moves. No, his camera. no. This Not movie the, is a fucking seizure. But this, this movie, whole movie like, is a seizure. This movie inserts scenes of just camera moving for no reason. No, like, like nothing reason. will be happening in the scene, but the camera will be moving over the scene, and then no they go to the next scene. Like, mm-hmm. there's a lot of that. Well, he he also does the cut to the because uh, I noticed he goes from like the wide, uh-huh. which is on like some kind of wide angle so it's a little distorted and then he goes in for like the shot that's mm-hmm. uh how can i say it's like a foot away from the car- the actor's right. face yeah. Always, yeah. and always yeah. centered in the middle when they yeah. do that shot just he, right there then he'll cut to the angle that's the same it's the same shot it's just on the other side of his face yep and it's very lots of dutch angles too yeah wow dude it's calm all down with very the dutch disorienting angles. i've never watched a uh, del toro movie and been like stop moving yeah. this the whole fucking movie mm-hmm. i'm like stop Moving. He does a lot of those like sweeping pans yeah. too over like a whole scene. But know? they're yeah. not motivated. That's the thing I think Del Toro knows what yeah. he's doing. Yeah, no, there's, right. Yeah, right. there's no reason, reason for it. That's a great exactly. way to exactly. express it because yeah. there was a scene where there's the shot behind the couch when she's visiting the cat lady, Ophelia Powers, mm-hmm. and like the cat, it's up above, and the cat, she picks it up and moves it out of the way, and he just, the shot is only there to show that. And to show the moving cat and then bring it back up. It's it's a worthless it's shot. Pointless, it's pointless. Yeah. What, 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 what are you doing? There's no reason for this. Yeah. Like what? <sighs> it's like he learned how to use a dolly for the first time and was like, "Ooh, let's do this and everything." Ah, movement let's, everywhere. Yeah, pan in yeah. on everything and yeah. sweep over everything. But I think I think that is it. You know, Sean saying movement everywhere. I think this guy is treating cinema as a experimental. You know, because he he knows Very he's much. got at a, all time. Yeah. I have a comic book movie. Mm-hmm. Who cares about what he said? I don't think he. Even knows it's, it's a, a cat woman. Book. I think no. he's like cat woman. A like cat the cat I, the yeah. is the cat. Yeah, I, I seriously like think he's like, who is this character? And they're like, who do you think she is? Yeah, and well, that's what they went. Yeah, with. but the script was already, I assume, it's done. so literal. Though. Yeah, it's so. Good. But like, that's the thing. Like, who wrote this and being like, hey, all that mythology we have built in, throw that out. Yeah. Let's just write our own because that's this movie. Fall, why couldn't she just be Selena Kyle? She's she's Patience Phillips. Why couldn't she I know, just be so I know. That drove me crazy the first time I saw this movie. I was like, wait, wait, who the fuck is why Patience do, Phillips? Yeah. Why what is this? And they try and make a backstory of like there have been cat women. It's like the phantom at this point. So yeah. there have been cat women throughout the years. Like, fuck <laughs> you. We already had Selena Kyle. I don't this care. is someone new. No. Yeah. We like, get a we get a really long title sequence of like Egyptian history of like the right. cat women yeah. through history. Like I'm sure we barely care about cat women at this point. I mean uh, that's you know, maybe there's an audience for that, but to take away the fact that it's Selena Kyle, it's just like, uh, all right. I think, but yeah. I think uh, Catwoman, you know, I mean, she's always been in in the public uh, uh, imagination. I think since like the the forties. Um, 
Yeah, yeah just but been around since I mean, like specifically the like the Julie Newmar version yeah. of it, and yeah. then the or especially the the, uh, the Michelle Pfeiffer one because yeah. that was ninety two. That was about what 10, 12 years before this one. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. But I think like that that the Michelle Pfeiffer one is so strong, right? Mm-hmm. As like in design and performance, that yes. like I think that's the one that you know people kind of go back to, yeah. and then it's like okay, we're gonna make a movie about. Catwoman. So everybody goes like, so that's what you're going to do, right? It's going to be mm-hmm. like a one about her. That's what it was supposed her. to be. It was originally supposed to be a Michelle Pfeiffer. What? Movie. Yes. Tell yeah. me more. And uh, she didn't she, like the she was no, she was very interested and really wanted to do it because she was like, hell yeah, this is my time to shine, right? And they were just like, they kept kind of putting it on the back burner to the point that like years went by, and she was like, well, I guess it's never happening. And then yeah. it fell into Pitoff's hands and they kind of rebranded the whole thing. So, so who's, are we saying it was Pitoff's idea to just like jettison the comic books and the Selena Kyle character and go like, you know what? We're going to call it Catwoman. It's going to be produced. It says at the beginning of the movie, mm-hmm. uh, based on characters created by Bob Kane. Bob yeah. Kane. Which is the loosest know, He's the guy who statement. created yeah. Batman. Yeah. Right. yeah. So uh, that, that's like a legal obligation. Right. We're just going to throw Y'all this are. out. Mm-hmm. In 2001, when like the steam kind of picked up to make this movie again they were going to have Ashley Judd be Selena Kyle which like in 2001 that would have made sense I guess but like it's gone through so many this was in development hell for so long and Mm -hmm. it's gone through so many changes over the time but yeah there was a point in time where Michelle Pfeiffer was like I want to make this movie and then it never happened Mm -hmm. yeah but somebody clearly said that take on it. I like this idea that you've got of just yeah. throwing away because then we don't have to tie it to the Ditch Batman all the universe. Mythology. Yeah, we don't have to set it in Gotham City. No mention of Gotham. No mention yeah. of Bath- Batman. Like this, like That's- to call this a comic book movie isn't even accurate because it's like it it has no tie to any comic book anything other than the fact that there is a character named Catwoman. Like, exactly. That's it. Exactly. And and do we want Catwoman without Batman? I, I think mean, there's a place for that. I mean, there's, sure. you think there's so? a, a good version oh, yeah. of that movie that could exist. Yeah, I think. I, I mean, this is, I've this read is like. The I mean, I don't. You can make for uh, a Black Widow movie. Yeah. By, no, exactly. I mean, I don't. I don't mean like have Batman be a central character in the movie. I just mean like without that anchor, without that story, yeah. like no, have Batman not mentioned at all. Have you it have not take place oh, in yeah. that universe. Yeah, I think exactly. Because like, they were going to do Gotham City Sirens, I think, which mm-hmm. was going to be yeah. like uh, Catwoman was a Poison Ivy mm-hmm. and Harley Quinn or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, like okay, fine. Yeah. I can get that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah I basically. can get that you take place in Gotham and you at least, at least acknowledge that Batman is out there somewhere. Exactly. Right. Because he's kind of the linchpin around which that whole mm-hmm universe, you know, happens. Then right. you can exactly. have Robin show up for a scene or whatever. Is that, whatever. Isn't this, that basically it. what the TV show Gotham is? Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like. Yeah. So that's what they're doing now. Yeah. Right. But that's, Cause I the, think Catwoman yeah. is in that show. Cause she you have to. In show. It's, well. She's in that show. And that show also throws out all the mythology of all the characters you've established too. That's why I don't understand how that show is still going. I don't, I don't understand who's watching that show. I don't know who it's for. Know. I've never watched it. So I gave I have it no a idea. shot and I was yeah, like, they introduced Selena Kyle and they, Throughout all of her backstory and completely invented a new thing for her. And I was like, well, yeah. who's this But her for? name is Selena Kyle and she is a cat woman. But that's she's like 14 years old in the series, yeah. though. Because, like, they're all kids, you know? Because right. it's yeah. like yeah. when but, Bruce Wayne's a yeah. kid, you know? That's why I was like, who is this true. for? Who the fuck is this show yeah. for? Yeah, and they, sure. And they have they can't do Joker or anything in that shit. But, yeah. but I'm watching I'm watching this movie and, there, you know, there's these... Uh, specifically, I mean, I, I know I'm jumping away ahead. Specifically at the end when she's just like... You know, I don't belong in your world. I am Catwoman. And I'm like, but why are you Catwoman? Like, what are you doing? Because I can't breathe that life into her. So she's burdened to it. Yeah. Yeah. But what what is she doing? That's it. Like, Mm -hmm. like, she's not really fighting crime from what I can tell. Like, she doesn't seem to have that. No, she fought. uh, She fought. She fought. The only reason she fought them is because she killed her and everything. And that's that's my point. Like, right. without she's got no reason to go keep doing it. Without Batman, what's the fucking point? This is a problem. Well, I well had but with, that's the thing, uh, though. Predator, like, Catwoman we'll does exist. Later. Like, without Batman, like, like there's plenty of comics of Cat. Like, sure. Catwoman's always been an antihero. Like, she can exist independently of Batman. That's, sure, but that's, if she's doing something. Right, that, she's no. not doing anything. No, yeah, I agree. I'm she's just saying like, she can't exist. Going and I, and I, the fact that- I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it horribly because I really don't mean like the actual person, Batman. He has to be there. Like you don't. No, I'm not saying you need Batman. I'm saying you need the tie-in. You need a reason. You need Gotham. You need an actual 
Well, Something that, for her to you, do. Well, yeah. Right. Well, she needs to that, fight crime. It's, it's, it's color. It him. fills it in <laughs> yeah. because we know, like, if Batman exists, we know that, like, the, the fu- yeah. it's fucking Gotham. Yeah. And there's crime. She can have her yes. own adventures within that shit. world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, which is not given in this movie. Oh, exactly. We don't know, well, yeah, they don't even say given. what city it's in. No. Like you said in the bit in the in the credits, they like panned it on the map of New York City, but they never say that. No, they don't say it at all. There's no shots of Statue of Liberty or any sort of iconography of New York at all in this movie, and it's all CGI skyline, and you. Have no no idea where this is. To talk is about place. CGI skylines. Oh, we have to come back to that. But for the the idea, <laughs> do you want to talk about skyline saying, right now? But a, a <laughs> problem about this, I think it's like to me, it was crystallized in the first night uh, moment. Every superhero movie origin story has that thing where somehow they mm-hmm. become whether it's supernaturally endowed with uh, their powers, and they have to test the limits of their powers, so oh, they yeah. go out on their first night. Yeah, and yeah. on their first night, you know. This is when they, you know, there's a kind of a, the high of like, I have this power and the, I can stop these criminals from doing these things. And so somehow, you know, there's like usually a tie in where they realize that like, I can use this to help people and fight crime. Yep. And then her the next, first the next night, time they're doing that, that they're in, that's when they get into their costume. Yeah yeah. 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 But her first night, she goes out immediately to the jewelry store because she saw a, uh, a necklace that she likes. She's a cat and she's attracted to shiny things. Yeah. That yeah. is the literal yeah. reason she, she ends up like, yeah. Literally every personality trait of a cat she absorbs. Yeah. Yep. But my question was, what was she going there for? Does was she going look there? Look at a shiny object. Was she going to look at it or was she going to steal it? Because there's the whole idea of a cat burglar yeah, or whatever. It's yeah. vaguely there, yeah. It's vaguely there, but they don't want to commit to her just stealing the thing because they that would make her a villain. Mm-hmm. Right. She's yeah. supposed to be the good guy. Mm-hmm. Right. So she sees there are other people in the place already stealing stuff. Right, that so allows she her breaks to do it. In <laughs> that gives her access. And she yeah. beats them up, and I think the filmmakers are she thinking, still shit? this is her doing her good deed. She's stopping the criminals, it's but her, I'm like... It's her save the cat moment. Because uh, she does. Right? She, she literally saves a cat. Oh, wow. There's multiple save the cat moments in this movie. Yeah. Woo! But at the end of it, she steals the, the Yeah, she jewelry. still steals it. <laughs> and then she like gives it all back because she feels guilty, but she keeps the one. And I'm like, you're morally complicating women, your quote unquote hero. And I get that she's supposed to be an anti-hero, mm-hmm. but it's like you're not giving like her, uh, you know, she like, doesn't commit to anything. It's she's self-centered. The hero is supposed to be because even Snake Plissken, who's a self-centered hero, like accidentally helps other people. And there's that moment where they're like, he's like, fuck. OK, fine. I'll help them. Right, because, like, you know, uh, basically yeah. underneath it all, it's like you're still right. a good yeah. guy. But she's like her motivation is I wanted the fucking necklace. These guys are just in the way, I, you know, and yeah. ultimately the whole thing ends it's up a matter being, of convenience for her. Yeah. You know. Yeah, like for all cats, it's a matter of yeah, convenience. That's true. Basically. That's very true. That's yeah. basically the attitude of yeah. the cat. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, in that case, then they nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yes. Yeah. Nailed it. But and it doesn't help for your heroic no. ju- hero's journey. No. no, no right. If it comes down to personifying a cat, they nailed it in this movie. Mm. Right. If that's all they wanted, <laughs> all if they, they wanted, wanted a cat yeah. woman, it should have been cat dash woman <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah. They got it. They got yeah. everything about it. Her playing with a little ball and everything. <laughs> the catnip. Catnip. There's the so much of this. Catnip. The way it's like what? smeared on her lip makes me want to puke. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was, was gross. So yeah. gross. Yeah. it was really gross. Like she, she has like to roll it around her, her face on this catnip toy, and it's like smeared like all up on her nose and her <laughs> lip, and it's like there's like a moistness to it that made me want to. puke. It was so gross. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was really uh, gross. Uh, <laughs> it's the really only gross. thing. The next thing you're just expecting her to lick her lips and get yeah. all. Uh, but like she's like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's like that's the sound she makes while she's sniffing the cat toy. Yeah. Like she's that's she very cannot Hannibal control Lecter, herself. Like <laughs> she cannot control herself. She that has is to the do weirdest. the cat purr, which was just oh, like oh, oh, it shows up like three times in this movie. And she's yeah. like, oh. whoa. No, I don't understand. I made this. noises watching this movie. Yeah, like that's that's how you know what kind of movie <laughs> the, this is. Rob yeah. just went, oh, oh, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. And the later noises. How long has this movie been on for? Yeah, is that it was ever the noise end? that escaped my face. Um, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. her character, Patience. Patience Phillips. Patience. See, that's, that's it's a, like a Marvel thing. Yep. It's the alliteration. Yeah, yeah, you which, have not, it, but it's not good alliteration. But it's <laughs> also DC, so they shouldn't be doing that at all because yeah. it's a Marvel thing. No, so. it's, it's all heroes. Clark Kent. That right, but DC. again, it's not Bruce Patience. Wayne, Phillips. No, no, it's not, it's not good alliteration. Yeah, it's that's not, CK. But it sounds the alliteration Clark is better yeah. if it's KK. hard alliteration. This is not yeah. hard alliteration. No. Just because it starts with the same letter doesn't mean it works. Yeah, it's two different sounds. Yeah, it doesn't work. So they're not doing that right. 
So yeah, that's right. Uh, but, but Stanley famously loved alliteration for all of, of his course. characters. Yeah, that's, yes, like, that's a trope of Stanley Susan though was David like, Dunn. this is my yeah. thing. Just, so thing. she's a, uh, a a frustrated artist, a frumpy oh, she's frustrated a, okay, she's artist. An she's artist not frumpy. That got pushed into a job of graphic designer. Ambition is a yeah. calm, calmer tits yeah. because like her I job thought, is awesome. And she's like, like that some, fucking apartment. Yeah, she works Fuck for you, Sharon lady. Stone, and they make co- it's she's marketing co- a cosmetic line that they're and her the, the the office the campus for this office is like it's the incredible. fucking Apple or the Google campus. Yeah. Like, it is, it, and she it has like this, a Silicon Valley campus, and she has this massive gorgeous loft apartment. Apartment yeah. that's supposedly in like a Manhattan kind of yeah. setting. Maybe, Ugh. maybe like a Hell's Kitchen. Maybe, but maybe, still, it's but still like, an expensive, nice place. That's across that she lives in by herself. Yeah, uh-huh. by herself. Screw no you, lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it'd be an artist by now. You make a fuck ton of money at a right. good company. You know what? Like, Not shut everyone the gets to be out. an artist, lady. Sometimes you gotta make a little uh-huh. compromise there. Well, and, and techni- you live in a fucking awesome yeah. apartment. Technically, she shit. is an artist because she's hand drawing shit. She's a graphic artist. Like, like calm she's down. not a designer. She's a straight up artist. Yeah, but she's hand drawing these sketches. Somebody else, and who wants to do that? Yeah, yeah. I know. See, this is what I'm saying. This character, this is like mahogany at this point. <laughs> this is not like a, an endearing character, you no. know. You can't root for the anyway. No. And she like she's like ugh, they do that thing where they try to make like a pretty girl like nerdy by like putting her in frumpy clothes and, and, making, her like, act and making her so yeah. clumsy that she cannot walk like without yeah. tripping over her own goddamn feet. Like that's her in the whole first act yeah. of this movie. These I get that because exist, right? eventually we have no, to see no, that she's a thing. cat. Like, it's not a thing. Cat, like, this feels so no, no, no. Not it's a real. You cannot thing. you cannot look like Halle Berry and act like you've never talked to a man. Right. Or it's not. A set of stairs. Yeah, not yeah, possible. Don't, like literally, there's that scene where she's walking across her apartment and trips for no reason. Like she cannot it's even like walk across over, her apartment because I they're overdoing it one way so that it, yeah. when you she it shows which is in the costume, yeah. it's a different way. Because I, I, I was like, I get it. She's going through like a crowd of people at the beginning, bumping into every single. Oh, person. Oh, oh, sorry. It's gonna oh, come sorry. back oh, later, sorry. and yeah. she's I've not. Never get, she's gonna to be like a Neo in the Matrix movie, just like ah, I get it. Yep. She's awkward and weird, and she's gonna be a superhero later. Ugh. Yeah. So oh this was at the fringe end of this wave, and thank the fucking lord it was. Yeah, because you were saying Batman Begins was the next, the next year. year. The next the next year. year. Changed, year. It, meanwhile, changed it all. Meanwhile, her BFF Alex Borstein, like I feel like the only direction they gave her is you're horny all you're the time. Very horny. Because every time she's like, "Ooh, you're you gonna horny. bang him? Ooh, you gonna <laughs> fuck him? That guy? Yeah. You wanna you fuck, fuck that guy? Yeah, yeah, that's that's her. This whole yeah. movie, you gonna fuck him? Even yeah. from the hospital bed, she's like, "So did you, did you fuck him? Like that's yeah. like that's her." Right. Whole, her whole well, that's thing. which was the only entertainment I got from this movie. Are you familiar with uh, a thing called the Bechdel test? Yes. Yes. Okay. It does. It fails this movie very hard. <laughs> so hard. Like it Down could not fail. Which hard. is weird it's, because it's a, it's a movie about yes. women starring women, and that could not be less feminist if it tried. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think this movie would be? Yeah. But it's so not. Every aspect of this movie is like offensive. anti. It's offensive. Yeah. Anti woman putting them on display. There are yeah. ass shots of Halle Berry in this movie. Just yeah. straight for like at least like. Good 10 seconds of just yeah. let's lingering go shots. Well, lingering on the edge. It's yeah, but we're like, saying that it's, it's, she graduates in her appearance through at least three different, you know, there's a frumpy Halle Berry. There's, there's haircut yeah. Halle Berry, haircut. and then there's costume The, the Halle wild Berry. haircut with two pairs of scissors at once, which mm-hmm. has right. which never is just, happened. Well, I can't mm-hmm. imagine the filming that's just like, don't cut anything. Just, just do this just in front of your face. Just whip the scissors yeah. around in front of your And face. we'll yeah. cover it. And then she yeah. eventually becomes the poster uh, creature of the uh, yeah. S&M gear Catwoman, yeah. which I guess, you know, there's a... I mean, there's always been a little bit of S&M with Catwoman. Sure. I mean, Julie Newmar was in a leather, you know, right, shit. But Michelle Pfeiffer was fully leather, covered and it was still catcher. sexy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But that, yeah. was the, that, but yeah. that is a shiny leather yeah, it's a S&M leather yeah. suit. Right. But so like, there's that but element. Like, what skin can you see around her eyes? Like, that's it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but it's like, a whole like, leather like, suit I thing think that, when we... But I prefer that look, I think is what I'm saying. They call it a cat suit. Yeah. Right. I think we when we got to, when we got to, like, Christopher Nolan's shit and everything, like mm-hmm. we we got into the what is tactical? Yeah. What ma- or what makes sense? Mm-hmm. If you're gonna be a person who is fighting people, mm-hmm. you can't just be in a like a thin latex suit. She's wearing a leather bra and leather ripped up pants. In this movie. Yeah, and no, that's, none and of like it a makes strategic sense. And that's it. claw marks on the plate. Yeah. Yeah. you can see your skin it's, through. This is, yeah, this it's, is you're going to die in the first fight you oh, get. Oh yeah, in. they mm-hmm. just they 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 messed up the signature Catwoman look. Like you go back to Julie Newmar and Lee Merriweather, they all had the fucking cat suit. Yeah, right. it's not a two piece. It's not skin. a bikini top. Yeah. Like it's a cat suit. Yeah. 
Yeah. You had one job. I feel so, that's <laughs> it. I feel so bad for Ellie Berry because, you know, she did so much work to make her abs so fucking oh, yeah. flat. I'm sure she was. She, she, she looks amazing. Right. I'm sure she, she went through hell to look like and that. And yeah. that's what makes me so upset is that she went through that shit oh, for yeah. this movie that yeah. I'm like. For a shit movie. But like every frame, she looks amazing. But yeah. I'm just like, great. for this movie, looks you great. spent that. Oh, yeah. You yeah. want to spend what some time uh, great. in a room with Catwoman. What does not look great is that fucking cat helmet. No. It's not good. It's bad. It doesn't fit her right. Right? It's bad. Like, it, no, it gives her like an like, oblong head. It's like she had 20 pounds more hair than she should have, and yeah. they had to find a place to hide it, and so yeah. they gave her like a cone head. Yeah, thing exactly. With ears on it. Like just a, not- yeah, I mean, we're saying like from a a basic design standpoint, when you're designing your you know action figure superhero character, mm-hmm. like whoever designed this mask, well, it does kind of. I mean, I guess it has the uh, what's that thing called? It's like the robber mask. What do mm-hmm. they call it? Yeah. There's right. For, There's a thing, for but that. you know yeah. the yeah. raccoon it's the black eyes, mask. Yeah. Mask. yeah. 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 Um, whenever because pit off. Always Pitoff. shoots. Pitoff always shoots. You know, in extremely close, close. Extreme up. close. Yeah. So you, you can't yeah. see like above the forehead, right? And in that shot, Catwoman it's doesn't fine. look bad, right? No. It's like okay, no. that kind of looks. I like that they do the cat eye makeup on her too. Like it's the yeah, Egyptian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, I like that. It's a, a nice good touch. touch. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, but as if, soon as they pull back, you know, why um, subtle? Yeah, in Ugh. everything yeah. else. Yeah. 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 Because I think that they got it before this, and they got it after this. Because, like you said, you look at the old Batman series and everything, and, it, it's and great. Julie Noir yeah. and everything. And mm-hmm. It's just you know she's got the ears, but it's just it's a mask and yeah. she's got yeah. hair. Yeah. This one it's crazy, and even Nolan's shit. She's like she's got the mask that goes up into the ears, goggles. which is great. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the goggles. thing. Like that people people idea. give the, Anne Hathaway so much shit, but the design of the goggles turning into the it's ears, great. I love that's fucking a, like if you've got to make it. it functional to what you're yeah. doing. Yep, that's how you do it. It works. Yeah. And she had a cat suit. God and damn it. Cat God suit. Damn it. she was a cat burglar, <laughs> yeah. which is where the whole right. thing was. Whereas, like, I feel like the whole cat burglar thing was lost in translation lost. with this movie. In this movie? Yeah, where they were just like, cat woman. Cat, like, okay, right. everything about a cat, we shove into the personality of a person. She like, becomes possessed by a cat. This is right. a better a cat idea. Brings her little, to life. There's yeah. supernatural yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. elements to this. She gets flushed down a sewer. Yeah, because she drops she really into does. the... So she has, she has a graphic design deadline of midnight. Makes no sense. And not only does she have to, like, take it to her... She doesn't have to take it to the office she works at. She has to take it to the production facility. There's another office um, for her Yeah, dear. whatever. Where they're, where they're talking about how the, the makeup line they're working on that Alex Borstein has been using and saying gives her headaches. Um, it Basically, if you stop using it, your skin starts decaying and falling off. Um, so this is like a, a, a backdoor Resident Evil one yes. movie yeah. yes. type. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so she she overhears this. They flush her down the sewer pipes and assume they kill her. Oh, she washes up on a barge of garbage, <laughs> which, I guess. Which is like Dark Knight Rises. Like, yeah, yeah. Follow him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Except not as good. Not. Yeah, yeah definitely not. Uh, That's not a good movie, but it's definitely not as we're good. We're not going to argue about that and, again. And then like yeah. a crowd of like 20 cats comes up around her body and the one cat and specific crawls up on her chest and coughs like a like a thing into her mouth breathes it's a soul for a ball but like you see like a cloud a come soul, out of his mouth I like, i'm writing this down soul for a ball yeah. is a good thing for it it would have been better if it actually did that right yeah. if it was right. like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it was just <laughs> it was, she was like what if i'm back to life again <laughs> <laughs> <Did they? laughs> yes, that would have been much better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she uh, wakes which, up, and then she has cat vision, where she can zoom in on things really yeah. closely, right. and she has cat kind of tendencies. Mm-hmm. And she At seems least. she seems clueless to the fact that she's a human. She she finds her way because you know you hear those stories about how cats get lost, however many miles away, and they, they find, find their, their way, way back right. home. She finds her way back home, punches the window out, just like the cat in um, Sleepwalkers. That's right. Um and then walks and walks in sleeps on a sh- bookshelf in her house yeah mm-hmm. like yeah. how cats do yeah because yeah. 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 cats never sleep in beds or on couches they don't though they re- that is accurate they don't <laughs> no they fucking do they my, my my cat, cat sleeps- does your cat's not normal my cat in sleeps- beds and couches my cat and that's sleeps- exclusive yes. I'm pretty sure my cat will sleep no in any else. my the two cats I live with will sleep in anything but a bed. Anything wow. but a my bed. Cat sleep, no. My cat sleeps in my bed with me every Beds night. Couches, no, nope. Every it. night. Anything they're not supposed to sleep on, they're sleeping on wow. it. That's how my cats are. Wow. I don't buy cat beds because they don't sleep on them. <laughs> no, these no. cats, they want. These cats just bed. want everybody, they all want to be like up, up high. as high yeah. as humanly yeah. possible, which I guess yeah. young thing. cats want to yeah. do that. That's but. true. That's yep. a cat thing. Yeah. Yep. They're yep. like Batman in in on in and of themselves, yep. where they just have to be on the cliff sure. looking mm-hmm. for everything. Well, she's been so she's been possessed by the spirit of this like Egyptian Mouth. cat thing. 
It Mal. is a Mal cat. Okay. Yeah, Mal. Egyptian, Egyptian, Egyptian Mal. Mal cats. Yeah. Which, uh, Midnight, the cat. I, I have is. a problem with that name. You don't name a cat Midnight unless, unless, unless it's black, it's black. Cat, right? <laughs> unless yeah. it's black. This yeah, this cat's yeah. not black. You He's like gray and black spotted. Yeah. You don't I name... agree with this. Yeah. I will die yeah. in my cell. Yeah. You don't yeah. do it. I have known three cats named Midnight. All black. All black. black. Right? Yeah. All black. Yeah. Yeah. It's you the don't... only thing that makes yeah. sense. I'm not going to name an orange cat Midnight. Yeah. That's not going to happen. It doesn't make any sense. I have an orange cat. It's named Cheeto. Yeah. Because you got to just go with the theme. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't do it. I was thrown off by that this whole yeah, movie. Me I was too. like, why? Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't understand. Well, I mean, I guess like there's so there's been like a, a ton of cat women all throughout history. Apparently, right? yes. Yeah. Again, midnight, like the Phantom. Apparently, but Midnight has been the uh, the caretaker. Procure of yeah. cat women. Right. <laughs> For <laughs> life and I should get them. us a new one. Yeah. <laughs> and Midnight is the property of, uh, sorry, what's the actual Francis Ophelia Powers? Francis Powers? Yeah. yeah, from uh, American Horror Story. You, right yeah. you feel your power? And Six okay. Feet Under. Yeah, so did she yeah. used to be a Catwoman? Is she a Catwoman now? I think now? she's just the master splinter to the Catwoman. Yeah, yeah I feel like the Catwoman I, I feel like die. She, yeah, yeah, I feel she's like the master splinter. She's like Giles to Buffy, you yeah, know? Yeah, right, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. Is like, she immortal? Y- yes. Maybe I think I'm gonna she kind of yes. seems that Did way. Did you notice how that house was like a house with like a yard it's amongst the, the skyscrapers? It's yeah, so it's always. I feel like it's been there forever. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah she's the one yeah. who keeps track and 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 you know mentors all of them. Yeah. And explains to them what is happening. That's why so she's, she's never surprised when they show up. You know, because right. she's like, ah, oh, it's about time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then another Catwoman, and this is where the movie commits its most heinous sin. You all reacted. Yeah. To this. Because the Michelle. <laughs> Pfeiffer Catwoman shows up as one of the previous Catwomen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, like, fuck you. (laughs) I I literally stopped and said, how dare they do that? World's collapsing. How dare they? (laughs) Disrespect Michelle Pfeiffer's role as Catwoman. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also don't think uh, we were talking about the crazy camera work earlier. I don't think that there is like an exterior shot in this entire movie. No, no, barely. There isn't. Like again, they show the house, but it's a very it's a claustrophobic shot of a house, it, like on or a it's street. All CGI for the most part. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. what I'm going Which with. I mean, like there's exterior shots in right, the movie, but, yeah. but none of them are they're not real. real. They're yeah. not real. Yeah, none of them because. Real. Pedoff's camera is flying over stuff and flying is that, is that in and like, flying up. Is Pedoff's camera like Pavlov's dog? Yeah, is that, yeah, is that, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, camera. Pedoff's okay. camera will always move. <laughs> right, always moving. It'll always be moving. Always Everybody panning. says like Blair Witch Project makes them sick, but this was like a this movie where would, I was actually yeah. like, this is kind Too of much. over. Well, you need to stop doing. When what a movie is yeah. chopped yeah. into these small, uh, like, uh, yeah. Bits for be- lack of a better word. I mean, there's like kamikaze cut ins, like smash cuts yeah. in on people. They can't be more back out, less than seconds, over here. M- more than a few frames. Like, it's mm-hmm. crazy. Do you find that it has the effect of when you're done watching the movie, you can't remember the whole movie because nothing actually landed for you? There's not enough there for the yeah. brain to absorb the image that was shown to them, it feels like, in certain aspects. Like, they just cut so quickly. I'm just like, wow. And you just start, like, if they keep doing it enough, it feels like you're, the brain is glossing over this stuff. It's like, I don't have the ability to remember this, capture this, and process it. So we just, it turns into just whoosh, yeah. white noise at some point. Yeah. It feels like, you know how, like, a lot of times in photography, you'll convert an image to black and white to kind of hide your mistakes or to make it look better than it is, right? Mm-hmm. This feels like the the like cinematography version of that. Like I'm not confident in the choices I'm making or in the shots I'm doing. So I'll do a lot of movement to cover up for oh, yeah. what I'm not I've always confident thought that. about. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. trying to provide kinetic energy yeah. Yeah. in a movie because you're afraid if I was to just put the camera down mm-hmm. and let people walk into a room and talk to each other, that this would bore the living. Like everyone would see through it. Yeah, Which exactly. they did <laughs> yeah. for one scene. Like, Hey, and what happened there, Colin? Oh God, that was like the worst scene I think that I've seen uh, in years, in years, the, the one between Sharon Stone and uh, because Sharon Stone is the head of the company at this point. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's trying to blame her. Husband. There's a whole thing. Well, there's not really. The plot is it's extremely not, simple. Not, there's like, barely there's anything there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but there's not but, like, I mean, you know, I know a lot gets talked about about the room and Tommy Wiseau and the competency in making that movie, but, like, at least he trusted his actors and his set design and, like, the rest of the things happening in the movie enough to be, like, I can set my camera here and just let it happen. You know, at least he trusted 
everything else that was happening enough to not be like, I don't need to make up for my lack of movie in my camera movement, you know? Yeah. Because that movie's very much like a play in the sense that people will walk yeah. into frame and walk out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 that's how he yeah. wrote it. Yeah. Left yeah. a camera and a right yeah. of camera in that and one. And that yeah. is it. Yeah, it is whereas this movie, movie. Th- it doesn't sit so for two but seconds. Imagine if, <laughs> can you imagine how many camera setups there were? For There's a lot. Oh, my God. God. The poor crew on the God. No one movie, way, you know? Now, that's where you see why this cost $100 million. Because the camera setups, how much they had to move a camera for one scene, especially an action scene, where they're cutting all over the place. Yeah. Like, I could see the cost in that. The amount of CG, I mean, every single she's so shot. Rubbery. Everything. She's so There's rubbery nothing. every time she's Well, that's moving. what I'm saying. Like, Halle yeah. Berry's Ooh. in, like, 60% of this movie, and the other 40% is a digital <laughs> stunt Christy. double. Jumping around, around yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so rubbery. It looks, it looks like those early video games you bought for like PS2 or PS3. Like well, none yeah, of looks... the graphics, uh, none of the visual effects. Sorry, no. sold me because it's like the lighting they hadn't worked out, like the ray or the refractive something. lighting. Or I've it, seen. It's like there's worse, no shadows though, or something. In later years, yeah, I've seen worse than this. I'm not going to say it's. You can tell obviously that it's CG, but I've seen worse. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say they didn't do a good job. They did a good job. They did a decent job for 2004 because mm-hmm. nothing was like glaringly. But it looks like shit now. It, nothing, is the problem, right. Yeah. Nothing was PlayStation 2 technology. Mm-hmm. But it, it's not Escape from LA, am I right? No, so it's, no, not no, no it's not from Escape from LA. LA. That's <laughs> fucking bad. This is, this is like. like, like but it, it does like. It's not horrible. Right. But you can tell. It, it's just slightly off, is what it right. is. Right, you know the, these gliding movements. Yeah. Like, there's no camera there. Especially but the entire like the, movie feels like. I mean, it feels like it's not a cartoon, but no. it doesn't it's feel too fluid. It it's, doesn't feel real. Yeah, no, the way you, it right? Because you know the too fluid. at this point, if you know Jesus, I'm, the the language of what a camera can do, and that sounds pretentious <laughs> as fuck, and I'm sorry, but you know, if you watch enough movies, you know what a camera is capable of. Mm-hmm. It, over the years, like what we're able to do practically or what is real. Like, you know what? That camera did this and that's real. Mm-hmm. And so you, you, for this movie, you just like cameras don't do that mm-hmm. in cityscapes and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And you can tell from that, not necessarily from the CG work, but mm-hmm. you can tell like cameras well, because don't, it's a cameras don't do it's that. It's a CG camera. Right. Because well, yeah. no physical, ca- you couldn't put an operator there. And that's the thing. Right. It's like, you yeah. know, a camera yeah. can't do that. And yeah. that's what sticks out. When they do these movements. To me, even like the like simple scenes where she's talking to like Alex Borsi on the phone and she'll jump up onto like a really high table two Ugh. feet. Like those are obvious that she's on a cable and it's pulling right. up, right? This is the like, other it's thing. It's just too fluid is what it yeah. is. It's too smooth the way she moves to be normal or right. natural. You right. Know? Like when they painted out cables and yeah. she's doing little things like I'm going to jump on my table and then I'm walk I'm going to walk on the couch. And, and then, it's just like, yeah. why would you, aside from the fact why would your character just do this? I know you're trying to get across that she's like two different people and she has these abilities now and she's just doing them randomly. It's because but cats it's, just walk around like that. Cats do that, though. That's cats why are she, like that. That's yeah. why she walked on the back it's, of the couch. Oh, there's one half of her that is yeah. a person and one half that is a cat and they are constantly fighting yeah. for control of that body. The person is talking on the phone. The cat, the cat is, is walking around. Yeah. 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 That's exactly what it was. Uh, yeah. Why is it? Yeah. I mean, and this is the thing that bothered me, too. It's like, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's like an equivalent in other superhero movies where like there someone really gets isn't. taken over by something, but like whenever she, uh, you know, it's like the 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 cat senses or whatever are manifesting themselves and taking over. She always does this kind of like blank sense. eyed <laughs> head cock, which makes her look like an idiot. I mean, it's like Cats I don't do that though. Yeah, but I don't right, know, it, but it, it doesn't takes tra- away translating to it to a human doing it. Yeah, because she Doesn't looks them- like I am embarrassed for the actress who's doing who has to, who do, has to do it, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. but was this her choice? In which case, I'm like, that was, <laughs> you're a terrible actress. That's what I'm saying. It's really very good. I don't who? know that she who? is. I'm um, trying to do it here for I mean, the enjoyment of my better. co-host. And, yeah. I'd no, 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 that was terrible. <laughs> no, I'd rather let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. And I, want then, a, I want a movie as you as a cat, Colin. There you go. I mean, I why not? Watched. But it'd be a, a lion. No, okay. Tiger? You could be a tiger cat. Blood? Sure. It's okay. Hashtag Tiger Blood. Oh, shit. That's already that's been like, That's like 10 years old. It's like you've yeah. seen Will Ferrell's audition tape for Saturday Night yes. Live when he just, he's pretending it's, to be a cat batting around a ball. That is a better, it's that is so a more funny. accurate representation it's of a cat so funny. than anything else in the world. Where he's yeah. like, ball is like... He's just batting. That's the whole <laughs> thing is him pretending to be a cat with string. Uh, and it's your audience, so funny. if you've never seen Will Ferrell's uh, audition for Saturday Night Live, watch fucking it. watch it now. It's so funny. Fucking wonderful. 
so funny. It's great. Yeah. Would I blow your mind if I told you that Sharon Stone is the villain of the movie? No. You, <laughs> they no. try and hide it from us for so long. <laughs> Do they, though? Like, no. you hear her talking. Yeah. You know, it's every yeah. time she talks, it, you're like, oh, you're a villain. Like, right. You know? like, but right. at, the, at the scene when uh, Halle Berry breaks in and hears the bad guys talking about, like, this stuff actually kills people. If you put you the, hear put her a, talking. Yeah. She's there. You know it's right. her. Well, you but don't see they, her. But you hear her. You hear her. We know. But then they play it off like you didn't hear all of that yeah. shit. I know. And try but then, and make her an ally. And it doesn't make sense to me. I'm it like, doesn't. don't we know this? How is we I don't should know this. what's happening. We've all been watching this one going, wait, we, she's the bad guy. She's person. the bad guy. <laughs> well, and like, if we you all see Sharon this. Stone in a movie, you're like, oh, she's probably going to be the bad well, person. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, you don't ever go into a movie with Sharon Stone. You don't write it that way. Like, I yeah, yeah, You're no, supposed I know. to write it with the twist at the end where it's like, ha ha, she's actually the bad guy. Right. Yeah. It's like, it's like this movie. No. They wanted a reveal, but they forgot to write it. Yeah. 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 Or they yeah. wrote it a different way, and yeah. it's like, yeah. no, no, we know she's a bad guy. You can't just you can't reveal something yeah. that we yeah. already know. Because they because pl- that scene they try to play it off like it's they a reveal, really and we're like, did. we know what yeah. are you doing? Like, no, we we're ahead of you here. Yeah. yeah, if your audience is ahead of your this reveal, this is brand new information. Good. No, yeah. it's not. No, thanks, Phoebe. Well, yeah. the other the other <laughs> staple, <laughs> the other staple of this of type of movie is that uh, if you have a superhero, even if it's a super antihero, uh, you have to have a super villain. So how does Sharon Stone, the owner of the uh, the, uh, the new cosmetics yeah, right. company, I mean that's villainous right there. How does she become a supervillain? By well, if you keep using the the She's skin cream, made you of become marble. living marble. She says, uh, if you stop using it, your skin falls off. The, yeah, right. The chemicals. But if you keep using stuff, it, yeah. you become living marble and you can't feel any pain. So you're basically like <laughs> a thing. It seems like a know. hidden thing. Like as I'm trying to like, her what, husband tried to slap the, her. Yeah. The, the, yeah. What is the subtext? As of this we saw, movie? spousal abuse not work. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. her whole thing is like the, when we first meet her. You know, I mean, Sharon Stone's uh, probably in her 40s to 50s by the time that this movie is made. And her husband in the film is uh, dating or having an affair with the new face of the company. Sharon Stone's character has been the face of the cosmetics company. Now mm-hmm. they've hired like a 20 year old girl mm-hmm. or whatever, sure. or 18. Yeah. She can't drink, apparently, according mm-hmm. to the. And so, like, she's resentful of this, uh, you know, attention that the younger woman is getting. This is her whole plot uh, or mm-hmm. character thing, right? Yep. And in the end, she's revealed to be a woman of marble who can't feel anything. I mean, am I seeing something that's not supposed to be? There? Well, I mean, they kind of like, okay, they kind of plant the seeds with like Alex Borstein saying like she, she's putting the cream on, saying she has headaches and like she's in the hospital because of it. And like then when Halle Berry goes to drop off her assignment, like they talk about how like these are the side effects, but if you stop using it, it leads to this. So like. I feel like if you put those two together, you can kind of like figure out the Sharon Stone math of it. You oh, know? The, that she's yeah. the yeah. super villain. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. she's a rock person, basically. Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. But she's yeah. like yeah. Colossus before there was. <laughs> yeah. She's like the yeah. rock monster from Galaxy Quest. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> can we talk about uh, Benjamin Bratt in this movie? Oh, yeah. We a, should, oh, yeah. Benjamin yeah. Bratt's in this movie. We should not movie. forget Benjamin He's Bratt, a, nor should we forget the basketball scene. In this uh, I was going to say, Holly and I were talking about how many times has he been a cop? We were naming them off. So it's this one. It is Miss Congeniality. It is Demolition Man. Yeah, uh, listener, if you know any other times, uh, Benjamin Brett. Yeah, okay. with, with Katie Holmes. Yep, he was so a cop that's in four that. times. He's been a cop. He I, wasn't in Twisted, was he? I don't. With Ashley Judd. I don't think he. Oh, was. is it down Twisted? It's going down Twisted. No, no. Uh, was I that fucking you're movie? saying words I okay. don't understand? Yep. Well, he's been a cop a lot. He's, he's been, been a cop, a, cop a, lot. a lot, especially in the late '90s, early aughts. That was yeah. uh, was he on a TV show or something? Where's Benjamin? Like, I don't yeah, know this guy. Probably. I, I, yeah. I, think I know so. him from Demolition of, Man. You're thinking of like NYPD Blue? Was that? No, he wasn't. In the, it was like, which is not LA in. Law. He's on something. Probably. Criminal Minds. No, probably. Okay, no, whatever. I don't know. Um, but no, he, he did do the the cleaner, the cleaner. That Bernie Mac movie? No, it was an A and E TV show where he was like, he was like a. Oh wait, no, that might have been a Cedric the Entertainer movie. I'm sure we know him now. from something like he was on 21 Jump Street or something I, like I back know. in the day. Whatever. But anyways, right. he's in this uh, movie. It's not important. Um, he, he he's a cop a lot. But in this movie, he's a cop. He sees Halle Berry at the beginning uh, that he assumes is trying to commit suicide when she's <laughs> trying to rescue the cat. Um, basketball <laughs> scene. For some reason, she finds out he's. 
like talking to a class of kids at a school about like yes. how awesome everyone being knows a cop where everyone is. is in this movie out of sheer convenience. Wait, no question, you can't question no, it. Yeah, it's you can't because if you start just asking like, how? she's got cat sense. Yeah, she just shows up at the school. Yeah, but he's well, at. How he finds her and shit. Like, right. yeah, he's got, he finds well, her for no. He, she, Cops know she, everything. She drops her wallet and he finds her at work, which makes no sense unless she has a work ID. But then how did she get into work? And even still, your work ID doesn't usually have your work address on it. He called so, the FBI. Okay. But he's also a cop. Stop. But so it was yeah. in an hour. Around. It was like know. in an hour time. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I can't. Uh, very quick. I, like, I can't comment on that. I don't know how quickly cops can find things mm-hmm. out. I don't know. It doesn't, they know people. Lately, it doesn't seem like very quickly. Yeah. 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 Just saying, yeah. In 2018, it's of, not very quick. Today, yeah. Yeah. doesn't seem like they can find some yeah. shit out real quick. Uh, she shows up at the school he's talking to the kids at, and they have like a one-on-one basketball match, and apparently being a cat means you have super quick reflexes and you're good at basketball. And you can jump off walls and, and nobody finds this odd. And you can jump up and you're like basically Shaquille O'Neal, Duncan and shit. But like, and you're sexually molesting a cop but, in front of other children. Yeah. But apparently not because like it's double this whole scene right because like they show their feet they show their heads like they don't show their oh, hands yeah. when, everything yeah, is out, yeah. it's all doubles everything's like, so fast I just don't even know what's happening yeah no it, it, that's so the point fast. That's, it's, that's yeah, the and point it's music, so video, fast, it's music video editing in a movie well you yeah. say music video editing because in 2004 apparently we were still using industrial techno rock score oh Fuck god yeah. and, and locations and locations and yeah because, because there was that, so that much chain link in this movie well and that club that Halle Berry lives next to is like a fucking like Nickelback type like really radio is. rock club. Re- yeah. that, he may have been uh, It was a Kroger. warehouse. He should have been Chad warehouse. Kroger. Like they should have cast him in this movie. They were mm-hmm. clearly going for that, right? Like, it felt like, like it, He yeah. looked like Chad Kroger but he, he just wasn't. Like yeah. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah. Why not have a cameo there? Just How do great it. would that just, be? You just know? lean into it because yeah. Chad Kroger's like, nah man, I can't do that. Do you think I'm he's gonna turn it down? Like, <laughs> Yes, because he thinks he's a serious artist. That's why. He's serious. This movie is not. and be like, sure, why not? Mm-hmm. Uh, Especially because he's Canadian. So Wait, they didn't have any music in money. the soundtrack. No, they didn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, they didn't. No, I would have yelled if they it was did. all like generic early aughts radio rack, though. Like, yeah, it all, like it, it felt very like generic. The, that's what I'm saying. We were, I was talking we about this a couple episodes ago. It's like now we don't have the movie that's like full of uh, you know like uh, middle middle aughts. What are we saying here? The teens, yeah, teens music, yeah. It's all I like wish. 80s music on the soundtrack and everything I go see now. Cause now. Yeah, because we're not getting that time capsule now. Yeah. That's really sad. But that's a, probably a good thing because now we go back and watch Nuh-uh. Catwoman and we're like, Ew. No, but I want the time capsule. Like I want to be transported to that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like at least I mean, Dare, at least Daredevil sprung for Evanescence. You know? There Yeah. I mean that if we're I mean if we're being honest, that is happening with movies. It's just not happening with the movies that we like. That's probably true. Though that we like, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's happening. It's like we don't see them, them, them anymore. Yeah. Watch a Fifty Shades movie. I feel like they are. We just don't go oh, see them anymore. It's all Beyonce, wall to wall. They are just. But isn't so it out Beyonce our... just doing covers of other music? No, it's not Beyonce. I mean, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's Beyonce on the whole thing. Right. But it, it's just like radio. But, but if it's, it's straight but radio, if it's modern artists doing covers of like other music, that's but it's also um, not it's not. But wasn't that the trailer song? But maybe the one song. Song, maybe yeah. the one song, but the rest of the movie is not. The trailers are all just slowed down versions of old songs. Well, yes, they are. That yeah. is the that era is 100% in which we true. Live. Yeah. So at the end of this movie, there is a cat fight because that's what you paid your yep. money to see. It's a movie called Catwoman. There's two women and they fight cat fight mm-hmm. for a prolonged period of time. Mm-hmm. Right. It's Catwoman with the claws of diamond versus uh, the woman of stone who can't be injured, even though when the she woman gets- of Sharon Stone. Oh my god! It just clicked with me right now. So many Amazing. times I've almost walked out of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, so Flint, many times. Flint, Flintstones did it first. That's all I'm so saying. So many True. times. Flintstones yep. did it first. <laughs> so I was actually heavy uh, surprised that when she got thrown out of the off the top of the the skyscraper and landed on her feet, that she died. That she died. Right. That it wasn't something else. That she just died. <laughs> yeah. At that yeah, point. That was that- it. That, After many, that killed uh, her. I don't understand <laughs> how <laughs> Halle Berry was able to injure her. Uh uh-uh. uh Because she's like, I can't feel anything, and I can't be hurt. I have skin of marble. Well, but if Halle you- Berry slashes her, and she gets slashes on her faces at face, and then she grows old, and she looks in the mirror. She gets the mirrored, skin. uh, like the the right. building. She right? sees herself, Panel. and she suddenly becomes fucking the yeah. last victim in seven. Well, she's like, I'd rather die yeah. than call mm-hmm. the yeah, fucking because- paramedics. 
Uh, There's a difference between not feeling vanity. anything and not getting vanity. hurt. Vanity. To be yeah. ugly is, is awful. the worst and you, thing in the world. You should be dead she other than ugly. She doesn't yeah. say she can't get hurt. She just says she can't feel anything. And there's a difference between those two. You can get, you can, you can get hurt That's without true. feeling yeah. anything. Skin she, of marble she just doesn't says, mean that you can't yeah. scratch the marble. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 She, maybe, yeah. maybe she's lost all feeling in her nerves. But that doesn't yeah. mean she can't you, be hurt. Have you guys right. ever seen those like sixty minute stories about like the kids that are born that can't feel pain? No, but yeah. I saw Dark Man. Oh n- no, I saw but Dark like, Man. No, and I saw is... an episode of Grey's Anatomy once. No, mm-hmm. but there's this is a real thing that there are people that are born that can't right. feel no, pain. Right? No, it's a yeah. thing. It's and thing. It, at first it seems awesome until you True. realize you that like everything they do yeah. hurts them. Yeah. Like right. they have to have their teeth removed and like they go through all these horrible procedures because they will just hurt themselves. Yeah. Right. Or they'll fall down and break an arm and not know it. And won't know it. And it'll set weird. Yeah. Really like. Every day is like hell for them because they could die. Yeah, and not know they could it. be yeah. full of infection. They have no idea because yeah. yeah, they don't exactly. feel it. You need that yeah. feedback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a sad, sad world to be Sharon Stone in this movie. I feel for her. I, <laughs> you're the only one. Hi, sarcastic. Colin. <laughs> it's good to see you again. I'm glad you're. Back. I've been here for a while too. That's why I feel like I snuck in. Uh, all right, so do we, subtle sarcastic Colin. <laughs> do we have uh, any further uh, insights into Catwoman? Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Man sandwich. Oh, man oh, sandwich. Man sandwich. What does that mean? Wow. Who does that wrote mean? this dialogue? What does it mean? I'm, it means it's I'm, one guy. One, one guy, guy comes in. Should you I'm be like offend- a couple a, of guys? As a straight right? white That's what man, I thought was I'm going offended on. for what they did to this character. It like, means not- you're saying Alex Bornstein's character. No, no it's, it's the it's the, the guy, quote unquote gay coworker. The gay stereotype that coworker who works in a fashion magazine like that. Jesus. What are you and doing it, to this guy? Well, and shouldn't man sandwich be like, there's a couple of like hot dudes? Right! That's we, what it means, fact, I think. We've lost two the <laughs> fucking definition of a sandwich, sandwich. <laughs> in this scene! Thank you, Miguel. It's yes. possible. It's, so, it's, Jesus. What they, what, I think what they meant was that you want to take a bite out of him. Sure. I, I think that's like, what they hey, meant. There's a hunky guy coming through. I'm right. not saying I ag- said man. Sandwich. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying I think that's what they're. You know, going that, that, that makes the most sense because I was going to go with the old fallback of like, well, I mean, he's a French guy. He doesn't understand the language. That is not. No, a- that's <laughs> not. That I, doesn't work I, at no. all. I, I get what Holly's saying, but like. I don't think one man does a man sandwich make. No. Oh no, I don't agree with it, but yeah. I think that's what I they know, meant. I know what you're yeah. saying. But right. like, but think, like, if you think about it for two more seconds, think about it for two more seconds. For yeah. Right. For, right. Yeah. And that's that, that's the thing the filmmakers are hoping you don't do throughout yeah. this entire movie. Yeah. And maybe yeah. we should just end on just that. watch it. Yeah. Don't think about right. it. Just don't watch it. it. Just watch it. Okay. So I tell you what we're going to do. We are going to tell you individually what we thought Oof. of this movie. So you don't know, listener. I mean, this if could be. If we haven't told you as a group, we'll tell you. Uh, someone here may really like this movie. We don't know that. I really hope it's you. Uh, it could be. So I'm going to leave you in suspense, <laughs> listener. You're going to have to stick with us through our mailbag. Oh, hey, actually, you may want to participate in the oh, mailbag. Oh, yeah, do that. But first of all, let's uh, summon our mailman so he brings us our mailman. Um, is he going to He's, he's going to bring us our mailbag. Is he bringing us a tiny mailman? Wait, wait, wait. Is, he has to say, is Igor bringing a smaller mailman? Yeah. Tiny Igor? <laughs> There's Igor Jr. that's like going to bring oh, that yeah, tiny letters. That's not letters. a bad idea. We'll introduce want tiny son Igor. of Igor. Is it like, a, like Rust, oh. Russian nesting dolls that they yeah. just open up and there's small Can we open yeah. up Igor to he find spawned. smaller Igors? Oh my god, I <laughs> you want opened. He spawned. <laughs> he Ooh, I like this idea. How did this happen? Who's the watched did this barge. happen on? Yeah. Well, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. You're Thank you. No. Tiny exactly. Igor. The claps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Igor, and larger Igor, and, and bigger he's still, Igor. He's still a little gooey. The little yeah. I mean, you know? he just mm-hmm. got ripped open to yeah. reveal a tiny Igor. He's going to yeah. be gooey. I mean, yeah. It's like when you crack it open, there's like those strings of like, he, Yeah, he's like a Cadbury know? egg yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, With a messy, tinier but... Cadbury egg in the middle. Well... I'll tell you what. We should also probably invite the folks at home who are listening uh, with bated breath to this hey, episode, how they can participate in the Saturday Night Freak Show on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram for the time of your life at Saturday Night Freak Show tonight. The first uh, message comes from Harrington 
Channel Harrington on. has been chatty today. Yes. Yep. Harrington. Conversation. Well, okay. Hello, so Harrington. I'm going to run read some of it. Glad you're listening. Yeah. Thank you very much for writing in. Thank, thank you, you for listening to the show. He says I started listening last year to the podcast, starting at Basket Case, and I loved it so much that I went back to the beginning, and now I'm up to the Primer episode, and I'm loving the time travel banter and just listening to Brent's wrap up. I had to pull over from my home commute and send some mail to Igor. I love the podcast. Keep up the good work and convince Travis to come back for some guest appearances. Well, thank you for writing in. Thank Aaron. you Thanks for writing, writing in. in. That Thanks. is all you we might will be say. disappointed. The yeah, I was you say, that's yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm like, are you listening to the current episodes the, right. and the old ones, no. or I just would say going? No. <laughs> no, I feel like he went back and hasn't listened to current. Yep, stuff. that's how well, I'm in the I appreciate future. you doing that because best case is actually a pretty good episode that we did. So we're right. We're li- we're talking to you now from the past. The, yeah, mm-hmm. we're. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening. Right, so we're in the future talking to quiet while we talk about the past. But he won't hear this until okay. So. <laughs> about the motion picture experience getting called so much. Catwoman Dom Cree <laughs> writes in and says you'll watch this and yet the Miami connection still goes unloved and unwanted by the freak show it is what not is that? unloved no. it's just here's the thing how did this committee just did it we gotta put the some Mi- distance yeah. between us and, and yes they did oh, right. yeah. so, can't do that. and yeah, it's what I'm saying we gotta wait a little bit and but. it's been on it's been on my list but the same person who recommended it also recommended Samurai Cop and we gotta wait a while because right. I can't play favorites space this like, shit out d- Dom, yeah. I'm aware of the whole my mother was Korean like yeah. monologue yeah. like I'm aware I've seen the movie I love it it's on the list it's on the list Yes. Dear it's listener, coming. this is not a finite podcast. <laughs> no. So we have time. Like exactly. we, we have a future in which we can explore these we, things. We can't be right on top of how no, we can't do everything we gotta, we gotta, all at once We can't right copy now. them 100%. There are seasons, there are times. So. It'll come around, don't worry. Everything yeah. turns, turns, turns. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sean Roger writes in, and he oh, says, I Sean. think... Your Catwoman episode is going to be a funny episode. I also think Michaela might be looking for a new gig. After this. <laughs> That's a smart man right there. I am, I am pushing it. I am pushing it. Nick Hammond writes in. <laughs> Nick says, uh, this movie is an abomination <laughs> of a comic book movie. It's a cash grab attempt on name recognition alone. Michelle Pfeiffer will always be my Catwoman, even though the girl they have on Gotham is a close second. Julie Newmar, Eartha Kitt, and Meriwether are notables, along with Adrian Barbeau being the voice of my animated series Catwoman. Halle Berry and Anne Hathaway can see their way out of that character, please. Well, that's kind of harsh. No, that's I agree. Harsh. No, I, I, I agree. like Dan Hathaway. She's I, like I mean, Kenneth. she was Why fine too? for what was given to her. I feel, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. For, for that movie? I didn't think she added did. anything extra to what was on the page. Yeah, uh, you know? She had, a, she had a, a desperation to what her character wanted to do. I don't know. Yeah, it was a, a different take on it. So it, was diff- it was a unique, uh, like, in a world where we've had a few iterations of more the Kevin character. Take, I like there, I, I appreciate a different aspect I have of no, that character. I have no problem with it. Yeah, right, I have right, no yeah. problem with it, yeah. but I also yeah. don't love it. Maybe you don't yeah. favor it. Maybe fit in with Dark Knight. I love, right? I love, I love yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. I have no problem with, with yeah. Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Right. But you also don't I think I that's the thing. Michelle it. Pfeiffer yeah. would have been out of place in the Nolan universe. Oh, I mean, they both fit For sure. She had no place in it. Just think that last five minutes with her just standing there with Michael Keaton fucking he ripped his fucking bat mask off and everything. Like, that. <laughs> like that scene. I love it. I love that movie. Uh, Grant uh, Grant Parrish writes uh, in, and he Grant? says, uh, "I don't hate this movie. It oh. has some problems. The plot is very similar to Tim Burton's Batman." Oh. I'm gonna start making noises again, Grant. You're you're just saying that because of the cosmetic similarity. Yeah, there's a cosmetic. Just, that's it. A death and Oof. rebirth. Kind of, okay. Uh, the we movie seems to think there's a mystery of who's responsible for. That's O-line, very true. But it's obvious. And the jewel high scene, there's a backflip kick that she does, which in no way appears as if there's enough force behind that her to hurt true. the target. I mean, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. where you're drawing the line. Okay. Not, but hey, right. yeah. there's a sexy woman cat lines. fight. But like he also put like there's like an eye roll emoji with that as like he did. oh girl, of course but like hey it's all worth it because there's a sexy cat yeah. woman fight. Like, <laughs> right. I appreciate like the sarcasm think, behind his comment right I really Cause he do. gets it because like yeah. I feel he, he's right in there we just like the filmmakers thought this is all worth it because it's a yeah. cat fight yeah yeah thing. exactly which is yeah. like yeah we can it's all like, see through that uh, like, yeah but it's like but Sharon Stone's got white hair and looks like she's I mean I don't know she it's, looks it's, the same as she does in Sphere I know she does yeah, it's not. 
a tra- which was yeah, like what Sharon ten years Stone. earlier it's at not least. Sexy Sharon Stone, whatever. No, no it's, it's Halle Berry in the it's mom whatever. here. Yeah, but I, I mean, I agree about the fight. The fight scenes in this are fucking sloppy. And yeah, not choreographed well at all. No. They're not done by and, humans. And, and, not no, even and, and the, right. And yeah. they go on too long for. Too long. Way too yeah. Long. And too not to long. mention in that same scene, Sean and I both pointed out that the glass breaks way before the ro- the thief even oh, yeah, tries to break yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, the jewelry. The, yeah. the, jewelry the Foley game. effect didn't line up either. The sound yeah. effect yeah. was not. Yeah, it was all a mess. That whole scene was a mess. Like, that breaks before you hit it. Yep. <laughs> I, Sorry, I, feel like, I feel like that was supposed to be like but, the big scene of the movie. Yeah, and but they only just, get one yeah. shot of that shit. Although on a hundred million dollar movie, you'd think they get more. Yeah. Whatever. Well, Andrew John writes in and says, well, You watching this movie, basically. Uh, He's saying, uh, this is the excuse that I need to finally put this on. Listen to the podcast first. Listen to us first. (laughs) Will we recommend it? Decide whether you need to do that. Yeah. And uh, Geeking Poetic writes in. And says Catwoman is so bad, it's great. It's so <laughs> uh, bad. That's a that's a statement. <laughs> I think it is so close that to crossing into that statement. territory. So close. But well, we'll get to that in a minute. Well, yeah. so. <laughs> this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's Thunderdome here at the Saturday Night Freak Show. Colin has affected a voice. Yeah. I don't know if I agree with it, I don't but think I'm uh, but I will say, Colin, what did you think about tonight's movie? called Catwoman. Uh, I think if there's a top 50, maybe top 100, top 50 worst movies ever made by a major Hollywood studio, this movie is in it. This was, uh, oh God, I fucking hated it. This was a hate watch. 50? Yeah. You can't narrow this down farther than that? Well, I'm going broad because I don't want to sit there and actually sit. Yeah, there's a lot of movies. I'll give you that. Yeah, because I mean, you gotta, I think really, really bad inept independent movies are also on that list, but like for a major like Hollywood Samurai film, Cop. like mm. Samurai Cop, yeah, mm. or Manos, the Hands of Fate, or Shocking Dark, uh, I'm, or Shocking I'm Dark. Fucking, yeah. I'm gonna fucking Shocking Dark. Manos, the Hands of Fate. Than Just this don't movie. Fuck with all of you because it, it's been brought up for six years. I'm gonna fucking bring it, Colin. Okay, if you do that, I'll bring Cry Wilderness. So let's do it. Oh, what Cry is Wilderness. That? Then Plan Nine from Outer Space comes, and then it's like, what happened to this podcast? Exactly. Right? What are we? Exactly. What are, exactly. But this rules. is the question we, that I had. Sean, do you want to play that game? Because I think I think we're already playing that game, I Michaela. I almost brought Plan <laughs> yeah, 9 Michaela, last time. I was this be. close. I was this close. If, because if, if we go into a downfall, this might be it. We're all going to be like pointing at each other with guns, being like, right. I remember it used to be that people would bring bad movies on this show because they actually liked the movie. Right. And they were like, I like this movie. I mean, I think I probably, bad, but I probably, like I don't know if you can remember back to like Mean Guns. Yeah, did Tom oh no, like I that movie? At all, Colin. Or was that like he brought? He was that was a hate watch. No, no, no. He liked. That's that what movie. I'm saying. Okay, no, so Tom even liked that even movie. the most wretched right. piece of no, shit. We used to get to a point where it's like <laughs> this movie is horrible, but you know what? The person who brought it. Yeah, they liked it. I don't think I don't. I'm I don't gonna know. guess. We're gonna find out if Michaela right. likes this movie. I don't think she likes. This I don't movie. think she likes it either. I think that she brought this movie because she's like this movie. <laughs> Sucks. It sucks right. worse than everything. Why ever did Sean sucked bring before? Shocking Dark? Did he had never seen it before. Like that movie? Never, he had never I, seen I, it. I had never seen it before. He had never seen it. I, why was... do we have to be your experiment? <laughs> because well, that, that's what this yeah, is. Yeah, but that's interesting. So then, fuck you for letting me bring Catwoman. Then this is my experiment. Uh, but it, it's if you're like, I've never seen it, and I'm bringing it, and like, I'm sorry, I'm vi- you guys can tag along for this experience. Then you're like, you're. It's because of the motivation. Then you're unwitting. But if you're actually like, I know this movie is fucking terrible and I'm gonna bring it to people then it's like because it's terrible doesn't mean it isn't important I got I got the reaction I wanted because if I can get someone to get as passionate (laughs) and screaming about a movie as I get like she she just did that's what I want I want someone to be as uh, just because it's bad doesn't mean it shouldn't be talked about I want someone to be as indignant as I get during some of these movies and I just got it so that's there we go well uh yeah I don't know I I, I want wild hand gestures <laughs> that's right well there's gonna, there, there have been there probably will be I can't okay. wait until we hear yeah when we get over to Sean I'm sure Colin. there's gonna be a lot of sh- a screaming Colin. um Catwoman, Catwoman. the I I have seen this before I guess that was the thing and I hated it the first time I saw it so I knew what I was in for and uh, watching it again I'm like okay you know it's like you know is there anything really redeeming about this I was looking at it as like is um is 
pit off uh, ahead of his, off. is he ahead of his, uh, his time <laughs> is he ahead as, of a, his time? as an experimental Whoa. filmmaker? Is he trying to do something here? And I'm like, he, yeah, I think like, he's trying to do something there, but it's like, this is the, he thinks it's a, the cutting edge. It's of the era. If he's trying to do something. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But he thinks it's at, uh, at the cutting edge of that era of filmmaking where we can reduce filmmaking to movement, shape, color. Uh, oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about how everybody in this movie has a bloom to them because they've all been uh, digitally like scrubbed of all their. Right. Uh, they have like uh, that. Like you see that face tune filter on like Instagram yeah. where people yeah. like, their skin looks smooth. That's what this whole movie. No, yeah, there, yeah, is the a, whole there is an After Effects uh Oh, yeah. Cover for the it, Magic Bullet. Magic yeah. Bullet does yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Cosmo. Does this yeah. Wonderfully oh, well. Yeah. Uh, the worst movie for that, but it actually fits in with it, is that uh, Mila Jovovich movie, Ultraviolet. Yeah. That oh, one that's was, like, really everybody bad is, in that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's mm-hmm. smooth as and fuck. Don't, and this is why the fucking the Predator, not the Predator, the original Predator movie, there's like a version of it oh, that's right. on, yeah, on yeah, Blu ray where yeah, they did that this. to Schwarzenegger and all that. Oh, yeah. I don't want that. No, I want the one with the film grain. There's only one Blu ray with the film. You have to go back in time to find it because oh, like okay. all Wait, the new ones now, are so don't buy the predator on blue no i still have it, still have it? Okay, oh yeah because right, i gotta yeah. hold on to that shit right, yeah. Yeah. Hold on to it it looks the I way it's I supposed to so what you're saying one. is don't buy the predator on blu-ray right uh a specific blu-ray just predator yeah, yeah, yeah. predator on blu-ray don't go to your, unless like, you can Walmart get the, the original one don't get a double feature i'm pretty sure i got the one colonnades um I forgot where I was going with this. But, uh, uh, cat but basically, he thought it was going to be cutting edge, but actually, it's the worst. Uh, it, it regressed filmmaking to its most base part, where there's barely a story. There's no characterization. The actors are stranded in the middle of scenes that, like, these are not real. There's no real people or real emotions in this entire thing. This is people who are supposed to be pe- people. Uh, you know, it's like this is a representative of it's like an alien life form came down and synthesized like they watched a bunch of TV shows and wrote a movie. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> this is what people it's, it's like those memes you see that like a computer wrote a script for a TV. Yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is it. It's terrible terrible avoid this movie at all costs warning red flags beep beep get out of it danger danger will yes Robinson. i don't know what else don't i can say holly it's on you um i had never seen this movie i knew nothing about this movie because when it came out Damn. i heard how terrible it was so i avoided it at all costs so i went into this that's knowing a very smart nothing <laughs> yeah <laughs> um wait n- until you're forced to watch it yes. yeah now after watching it i can confirm that every single aspect of this movie is completely fucking unwatchable and i i have no words that like that but it's unwatchable probably not in the way you expect it right uh, maybe did you expect me to be so cat like? No, literally? I I yeah. really did not expect her to be so cat like. We did. I, I mean, pretty much that's... we described it in the way just like ah, cat woman. Cat yeah, woman. This movie is so literal. It's so literal. Cat yeah. dash woman. It, it, cat dash woman. I, no, don't fucking watch this movie. Anyone ever, Sean. I, I can't, John. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> I know. You, but you have did no you words have either. Fun. That's a, no, did you have fun. No, 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 no. no I did not have fun. No, no. There's, no there's no fun to be you, had. Y'all own cats, and you had no fun with this movie. No, no. I love my cat, and I had no fun with no this movie. No fun. I would, I would rather. I'm just. Race it from the existence. I laugh. Um, not. I laugh to keep my sanity because I was sure. just. I couldn't. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think we ran into a movie that was at. It's it's weird because, uh, uh, what we mentioned during the movie is that like a year after this we got Batman Begins, which mm-hmm. I th- which, uh, I was gonna say I think, but which I'm pretty. I'm almost guaranteed started, a whole new superhero like thing from that on out like Batman Begins was the 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 quote unquote realistic it's the you know the a new superhero era started with Batman Begins and so I feel like Catwoman was like the like the deer of the the end of the 90s uh, superhero um, early aughts superhero 
movies that we got. Like it was, you know, we got a peak, but this is like the ending of it when we should have known better in making these movies. It's just, it's so. I sit here not able to describe how bad I know a movie yeah. like this is mm-hmm. and how bad these characters are and how bad a script it is and mm-hmm. just And those are the exact reasons people should watch it because they don't understand how bad it is unless you see it. <sighs> maybe, but I just I can't I, and that may be a worthy Because you had no you guys had no idea what you were getting into. Did you expect it to be so literal? I I mean going no. into this I've seen the basketball <laughs> scene, I'm just like <sighs> Yeah, but that has none of the like cat literalness to it. You sure, know what I'm no, like, right? There's that, but I, I, there's no, there's nothing, there's no. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sean's just making a face. Sean, he's if just making could, a face. If you can only see my reactions. It, it's there's. He's nothing. making Popeye face. Oh, is what he's making. This it's just so bad, and I can't. Everything we said before, don't ever watch this movie. Mm-hmm. There's no enjoyment in this. It's just, don't watch Catwoman. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel like I, I was defeated by this movie today. I don't know why. Just don't watch it. It's not good. It, it'll never be good. There's no reason to. There's no, like, I'm curious about this in 20 years. No, no, no. This was a movie made at the end of... Of a wave of movies that were more like this movie, uh, I don't think so. I think there were nothing like this movie. Da- I think Daredevil's I nothing like this movie. I, I think, think. Oh, I think it shares. Daredevil actually follows the mythology of that character. This movie doesn't I, I, does nothing to nothing, do that. I think in um, look. And I was gonna say, you're talking like visually. Visually, I think visually they all share. I a think lot that's of all movies of this time, not just comic but, well, movies. Well, all right, I think that's well, all and that that, re, aughts, yeah. that may be true, and I agree with that mm-hmm. because there was a look to mm-hmm. the early aughts movies of this. But I think superhero movies, especially, um, shared a bunch of that stuff, and I think this is the very end of that. And um, yeah, you uh, don't ever watch this movie ever. Mm-hmm. Skip it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the previous uh, hour of this podcast, and you'll know why. Um, Michaela. So I saw this movie. In why? Theaters. I just want to ask you why. <laughs> why did you? I saw why? it in theaters. No, but why did you? Why did you bring this to us? What, because, what did you? Because like what I said, did you think? I, I hate when you... people talk about how how bad Daredevil is, or like other movies of the early aughts, because like. Daredevil's not great, but like it's so much more of a competent movie than this movie. You know what I'm saying? Like I, Daredevil I, I is leagues that. above this movie. It at least follows the mythology of the character. At least there's some decent acting. There's some good choreography in that at movie. Least there's a, a there's a some good needle drops, least, even yeah. like the music needle drops are better. Like I hate when people at hate least on Daredevil got ben because I'm like Colin Farrell. Yeah, it, and Jennifer Garner too. Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like it's got moving pieces that are better than this movie. And so I really hate when people hate on Daredevil because I—I I mean, granted, it's not great, but like, there, you don't know how bad it could be. It's kind of how like when people, yeah, that's, I'm like, that's you the don't best understand. Thing to go with people like, yeah. you don't know how bad it yeah. could be. Especially because <laughs> the first Hellboy came out the same year as this movie too. So like, mm. there, there's your high and low of that year, right? Mm-hmm. As far as comic book movies go, the first Hellboy and then this movie. Um, but I saw this movie in theaters. I saw it at the theater. I a year and a half later would eventually end up working at. Um, and why did you see it in the theaters? Uh, what, well, what drove you to go see it? I was 14, so here's okay. the thing I was 14, okay. so not only did like I not have a job and had to spend like birthday money or allowance money to see this movie, so the that that's extra, but my mom had to like drive me to see it. So, like, not just my money and time was wasted, my mom's money and time was wasted. So, what too. was the 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 what drove you? To, I think, to like, that? I kind of fell into the hook of the of the marketing campaign of this. Of like, doesn't it? All right, I, I it, missed this all in my review and everything. Doesn't it feel like this should be the most uh, uh, at this time? A feminist movie, like doesn't that's it seem how like they were should be, promoting it, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be like uh, on, on that side, like this well, yeah, because be like as a woman, what did that? I have at that point in time for like, it feels movies. like it should be, but Nothing. then it Electra was your, that was no. a year later, wasn't it? <laughs> well, but but here's here's the thing though, but then it no. goes in the 14, complete opposite direction. Fourteen year olds have no taste in movies. I I I put my being a teenager is your developing taste. I put myself in that position, like okay, think about being a fourteen year 
year old girl, I absolutely know why you went to see yeah, this yeah. movie. I but totally like, get to it. To me, it, my mind is more blown by the fact that not only was my money and time wasted, but my poor mom's money yeah. and time was right. wasted too. <laughs> you know, like I'm like, wow, as a family, we lost so much money on this movie and time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but um, I mean, I don't think this movie is good by any stretch. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. I just think it is bad, but it's not bad in the ways you expect unless you've seen it. You know, like yeah. I think about all the probably and once a week. For surprises of badminton. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Probably once a week, I think about that scene of her like laying on the bed eating the tuna out of the can with like the 20 oh cans God. of tuna around her. There's so many cans. Can, like, that makes me want to puke. Like that so scene is so even, gross. Can you even imagine what her apartment smells like in that moment? Well, like, oh. oh my God. I think about poor Halle Berry having to like, how many times did she have to like lick tuna out of that can into her mouth? Oh my God. Like so th- because like you know, you guys heard that story about that scene in Wolf of Wall Street right with DiCaprio and the sushi sushi right yeah y'all heard that story yeah Sean you heard that story there's there's mm-hmm. a scene in Wolf of Wall Street where DiCaprio puts a whole piece of sushi in his mouth at once and uh, he did that he did that like thirty, 30 times, times to the point that he gave, gave himself food poisoning from eating that much raw fish sure. so like anytime I see an actor eat a, eat like a big bite of food in the movie I'm yeah. like oh god no I'm yeah, like they got so sick if, doing uh, that yeah all actors listening out there don't eat in whatever movie you're in yeah because it will cut not it up with a fork and knife yeah. cut it up with a fork and knife and take your time eat, you don't fucking eat. nibble that shit yeah, yeah because <laughs> it's not gonna help you in the long run no it's just gonna make you sick so yep. don't do it but, don't eat. But so like just like seeing her lick that can of tuna makes me want to fucking puke. But I think about that scene all the time because I'm like, she had won an Oscar at this point. Why is she licking a fucking can of tuna on a bed filled with like twenty empty cans of tuna? But that. Well, but why, why is she? What did? Why? No. No. But in all seriousness, what did she think she was going to get out of this movie? That's what I don't understand. Like paycheck. But, but is, is it, it that but good? is it worth it? But is it I worth just, it to get the paycheck? Like how much I want to know and I don't think we can answer this question, but yeah. how much did she get paid for doing a movie I like this? I just find that information anywhere how much some, she got paid just, for this. I just wonder some of these actors like if you were in because their posi- if you were in their position and you're like you get to play Catwoman. That's how, number one. So you know right? that it's a it's a yeah. it's a commodity that's yeah. known. But if you right? already won an and Oscar and you're associated with that for the rest of your life, yeah. But if, and, you if this is a hit, do you collect on this for years? Yeah. Right. But if you've already won an Oscar, that's like that's like the peak for an for an actor, right? Like but you can't no, get any no, better well, than that. No, no, so why? No, that, but not that's a, not necessarily yeah, true it's because financially, Oscar's great, big, but yeah. like if you're associated with. I think if you were like, but she had done two X Men movies at this point, so like she doesn't need to get into the genre. There was a star, the lead. This was, she, a she fran- was a big point. But this was a franchisable right. character right. that yeah. was hers. What she wanted to be as far as X-Men is concerned, because there was a whole... There's, oh, there was always that conversation of, like, will Hall- Halle Berry come back for Storm? Because she's not the lead character in any of the X-Men movies. And she had some of the worst lines in those movies, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, she, she did. did. She, which is why I'm pretty movie sure movie they did. probably paid her lighting. more than most other actors in those movies. I would guess. Her being an Oscar winner and her, you know, wanting better lines... Anyways, oh, sorry, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, if we you, interrupted if, all that. If you can see this movie in like a midnight movie showing, definitely fucking go to Will it. Will anyone show this ever? Oh yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Y'all hate on this movie, but it has but it, it has like no. a room type cult following for being a bad movie. Like it it, it is Nobody will show this. You just all weren't willing to go on the ride. You, you all came into this with the wrong attitude. I was open to it. I came, I no, we all came with the right attitude. Sean, you did the not come into it. Oh, no, Nobody will uh, show this. You guys all have cats, and you were not open to a cat woman candy. <laughs> I was I open to it. It doesn't make this movie right. I didn't say it made the movie right. I just said it makes it fun. But I just think that if you go into it with, like, what early aughts fucking weird ride am I going to go on, you might have fun with it. But uh, I, if you're gonna, don't watch it by yourself. Don't watch it just never. To, never. It, out of curiosity. <laughs> just like if you, only a midnight movie situation is the only time you should ever fucking watch this movie. There is, there is, there are certain movies that arouse a curiosity because it has built that over the years. Maybe this gets to the that eventually. Yeah. Maybe then but, you can watch it. it, it you know, I I know the the. the the WB and the DC universe is really taking like a beating right now. But like, I, and like, I, I've been a part of hating on those movies too. But like, when you look at those movies compared to this, like it could be so much worse. You know what I'm saying? Like even man of steel is like a fucking Oscar worthy movie compared to this, you know? So it could be worse. And I think that you need this movie as a baseline for how bad things could be. Uh, it doesn't so, get better. It could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, 
I know the WB is making some dumbass decisions right now, but like it could be so much worse because this movie just trashes every aspect of mythology or anything you know about the character at all. Like she's not even named Selena Kyle; she's Patience Phillips for no reason. Uh, I know. You know, like I they know. trash everything you know about this character the, the, for the, no the, reason. No right. reason. So, My biggest complaint is like, yeah. just go with Selena Kyle. So I, I would not recommend it. Basically. There it is. Right. There four, it is. Four there nine is. recommends. I think it's a yeah. four nine recommends. That was a pa- impassioned defense of but, a movie that you didn't right. recommend. But, but well, oh. I mean, but I, I think said that's, I that's, a very that's, specific that's what we do, Colin. Like you have to. Maybe you do have to get a, a passion defense mm-hmm. of a movie. You're just like I don't recommend it. But you know what? There's this. Mm-hmm. Like, no. That's why we're here. That's why we do this, Colin. I know. I know it's, it it's the baseline for how bad things could be. That's all it is. Like, that's why we're that's here. What I'm saying, go watch Man of Steel is, and then watch this movie and tell me which one's the worst movie. You know what I'm saying? This is for like, our audience. Go this watch Batman versus them. Superman and watch this to, back to back. You know, <laughs> make them better people by doing it for them, so they don't have to. Yeah, exactly. We're doing their work. Yeah. for them. We're doing I don't God, want them to have to go through work. this shit, so I'll go through it for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goddamn heroes! Mm-hmm. Now. We are <laughs> heroes, <laughs> Colin. I think that's what it comes down to. We'll is do what you're saying. That's what I'm so hearing. They don't have to. That's what I'm feeling right now. Yes. Yeah. I feel Colin, heroic. Colin, are you going to be a hero next week? I hope so. What are you picking know. next week, Colin? Or, or are you going to see yourself become the villain? Yes. Because <laughs> if I don't you know. live long enough, you know what That's they right. Say. Now i got to pick something. Okay, so uh, Sean week. will remember this because Ooh. like a hundred episodes ago, <laughs> we watched a movie called Shogun Assassin. And yeah. when we did, we said it was uh, it was a condensed version of a series of films. Right. The Lone Wolf and Cub movies. Yes. Indeed. And you said you were going to run out and go watch them all. You know how I know this? Because I listened to the episode. <laughs> yeah, did you? And you were like, I love this movie so much, I'm going to go see more of them. <laughs> did you? All right. No. Well, next week you're going to get a chance because we're going to watch a Lone Wolf and Cub movie. Ooh. It has a terrible title. It's called Baby Cart and Peril. But, wow. Yeah, but that's I know. what I want that's because bad. I know what, uh, you know what? I know what's in the baby cart. Well, yeah. And, and the, so the American title is like Slashing Swords of Death or something yeah. like that. It is a lot more uh, interesting. But it's a Japanese samurai movie uh, that I think you guys uh, might enjoy. Who knows? We'll find out next week. Michaela is like not having it. I, I'm just saying, th- how many cat owners are sitting at the table? And no one like Catwoman, even though that was the I know, most that's literal what I'm interpretation saying. of Catwoman. So you bring a samurai movie and everybody goes, it's yep. a piece of shit. Who knows? Yep. But Lone Wolf and Cub does have like a, 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 a thing. So we'll see. Uh, Lone Wolf and Cub, Baby Cart in Peril. I think it's the fourth movie in the series. We're going to watch that next week. We hope you'll join us and we'll hope you, you'll tune yeah. in. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.